hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Yvonne today I'm going to teach you how to extract pure organic coconut oil so first this is our coconut we're going to put it in a basin yeah the coconut is already shakunwa so kama una mbuzi meza kuniwa uko kwenye unanunua coconut it's always 10 boop per each coconut but kama uko na mbuzi nyumbani you can kuna if you don't have mbuzi you can use a blender you chop them into small small pieces that is blendable so for, for me i decided to nitengenezewe huko sokoni kwenye nilinunua so i paid 10 bob for each coconut minus the coconut itself so yeah so this is our coconut and guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel consider subscribing like and also comment if you like the video so guys first things first so we are going to add water and guys it's not just water it's warm water so yeah warm water will help you extract more oil so we add warm water and then you yeah you finya finya it add more water if it's not enough and then you finya finya it like that so your coconut is ready for extraction of coconut milk yeah so the first thing we are going to extract is the coconut milk so it's ready for me i'm going to use this it's called uhuru bag yeah if you, if you don't have uhuru bag you can use a lesso yeah a chiffon cloth yeah they are best so for me i'm going to use this uhuru bag because it really squeezes the juice out of the coconut so let's do this as you can see it's a lot of coconut yeah i as i wanted to remove like a half a liter so we are going to squeeze it using your hands of course clean hands so you are going to squeeze it squeeze it squeeze it really hard because you have to remove the whole coconut milk so guys keep in mind that this is coconut milk we are removing first not the oil this is the coconut milk so you squeeze you squeeze and don't pour and then, then don't pour the the remnants you put it aside yeah so we put it back the bag and then we repeat the process until the coconut in the basin is finished so this is our first round as you can remember I told you don't dispose of the remains yeah so don't dispose the remains so we are going to squeeze the last of it Don't worry why I'm having a green uhuru bag. The other one is Lisha kwa barabara. So as you can see I'm returning. Yeah, this is the thick coconut milk. It's very thick. So we put our uhuru bag as a side, then we put back our coconut remains it's not really remains eh? so again we are going to repeat the process of extracting the coconut milk again 
to make sure that you've extracted all the milk from the coconut because it's really important news you know coconut now is very expensive so you can't afford to misuse it so you make sure your water is warm don't use cold water use warm water for, for this one you're not going to add a lot of water we're just going to add little water because it's, we are squeezing the last remains so don't be afraid to use your hands because when you use your hands it's more effective than using maybe miko or anything you know it's that's not using your hands is effective So guys I'll repeat make sure the water is warm so we are going to repeat the same procedure as the first one squeezing the coconut milk from the coconut so we are going to squeeze the whole of it this is the second round in in, in Kiswahili this we call the coconut milk tui so there's the first tui, it's always thick. Then there's the second tui. It's not that thick. But it still produces the oil. So guys, we are done. And then so... And guys, for those who, who have chickens, this can be really good food for your chicken. So it's not a waste, so you can give to your chickens yeah so when you're done now we have our first coconut milk the one in the yellow basin that was the first one so we're going to pour it in a bowl yeah even i thought it will, it will be filled but it's enough so you pour it in the bowl then the second two e we're going to put in a small bowl so that when i'll be removing it from the fridge you'll see that we also had some oil it's important to use squeeze the first and the second time so we are going to close our bowls and put them in the fridge if you don't have a fridge you can just place it in a cold place until the next day if you don't have if you have a fridge you can just put in a fridge or a freezer for me i'll put it in a fridge for 12 hours so let's put our coconut milk in the fridge So this is the following day as you can see, let me show you the, this, this was the second this was the second tui then the big one in the in the big bowl was the first one let me show you guys as you can see the top part let me show you what I'm pouring is the water I put it in the fridge so because ningeka kwa freezer maji inge condense and it will be I will, inge manisha will heat it for a very long time so I remove the water and then we remain with the top the top part which is the cocoa which is the oil but it's not the, it's not the finished product so we are going to put our oil in the pan if you don't have a pan you can use a sufuria or anything to to heat it so 
let's put our condensed coconut milk in the pan You make sure you drain all water out of it so that you don't heat it for long time. So we put it in the pan. And repeat the same procedure with the other one. So guys remember make sure you drain the whole water out of it. So we have removed all the water and all the condensed coconut milk. We have put it in our pan. So it's time to put it in the fire. So that's it. That's how we will look after it's condensed. Yeah. So let's put it in our fire. And guys, remember to use medium heat. Don't use too much heat. Yeah, because when you use too much heat, it angua, and you will not get good results. So as you can see, it's yeah. So. After the condensed coconut is put on fire, guys, and it's medium fire, so this is how is it then? It will boil, you boil, while it's boiling, you koroga it, and then this is, after some time, you'll see the, the coconut oil itself, it's a clear substance. It's separating from the white thing so that's our oil but it's not yet finished because you can see it, we still have the white substance but as you can see we are close to so so that's our coconut oil but it's not yet all of them is not extracted So you're going to still boil on a low heat a low heat gives the best results so watch it as it separates and the white part disappears slowly by slowly as then you see the oil coming up and it becomes more clear guys remember this is organic coconut oil in a chemicals it has so many uses I will list them at the end of the video so that you can see coconut oil has got a lot of benefits and you can just make it at the comfort of your home no need of going to the supermarket or at the cosmetics to buy those are always refined but when you make one at your home it's always pure organic so that's the advantage it's pure organic even you yourself you know there's no chemical added so you know it's pure coconut oil as you can see our coconut oil has separated so let's just do the final heating of it So guys, watch it as it separates, as the white substance disappear, and our coconut oil appears.
don't worry why I didn't fast forward this place because I wanted you to see how the coconut oil separate itself from the coconut itself so guys this is what happens yeah so our coconut oil is ready as you can see it's now the clear form you can see the white part on top this is just a form i've tried to see if it will disappear but it will not disappear but it will not affect our oil so our oil is ready so yeah so our oil is ready but it's not fully fully ready so we still boil a little not boiling we heat it yeah under low heat at any point don't increase your heat put at low heat and it will be constant Whether you're using a gas, a jiko, a stove, make sure your heat is constantly low, medium, for good results and for best results. As you can see, the, the, the top part of the pan is because it has removed all the coconut oil from the whatever the coconut itself any yani the coconut milk guys let me tell you the uses of coconut oil you can use it for cooking you can use it on your nails and skin you can use it to clean your tooth yeah it whitens your teeth it can act as a makeup remover for those girls who want their makeup remover with a very long busy day this is the best deal so you can use it as a smoothie ingredient when you blend your banana or your avocado you can add a little coconut oil you can also use it as a hair conditioner you can use it as a body scrub it's a very good body scrub you can use it as a palm lip balm it's a very good massage massage oil and you can use it to clean your makeup brushes those are a few of the many uses of coconut oil so our coconut is ready we leave it to cool then we put it in our jar as you can see the coconut is already cool and it's pure oil as you can see it so we put it in the measuring jar and see I want to see how much coconut oil I extracted and guys it's almost half a liter so let's find out So, oh, I forgot to, to tell you how many coconuts I used. I used like 40 coconuts. Yeah, so when you have 40 big coconuts, well ripe, you can extract a half a liter. You wonder why coconut oils are very expensive? Yeah, because you use a lot of coconut to extract. coconut oil so this is our oil